Good day, everyone. Welcome to City High TV. This is Ma'am Jinki, your teacher guide in technology and livelihood education, helping you to discover and nurture your life skills, conquering daily challenges. How are you doing today? I hope you are fine and having a great day. Be excited because today we will learn a new lesson while having fun. Now, be ready. Get your pen paper, and self-learning module. And let's get started. Look at the pictures. Can you identify the profession in each picture? Yes, that's right. They are engineer and architect. Now what is common to them? Very good. They draw or draft. When you say architecture, it is more on aesthetic design, while engineering is for a structural plan. So, what is a drawing? Very good! Drawing is the language of an industry. People who are engaged in drawing are called draftsmen. In order to be called a draftsman, you need to know the tools, instruments, and the materials, as well as how to use them the proper manipulation, and appearance. Today, we're going to identify the uses of tools, instruments, and the materials in drawing. Demonstrates understanding on proper manipulation of drafting materials, tools, and drawing instruments. At this moment, our dear junior draftsmen, what do we mean when we say drafting? When we say drafting, it is the creation of accurate representations of objects, buildings, or houses for technical, architectural, or engineering purposes. Have you ever wondered how buildings were made? Did you know that using simple tools and set of instruments can help you to create and design your future house? Drafting tools may be used for measurement and layout of drawings or to improve consistency and speed of creation of standard drawing elements. So here are some tools, instruments, and materials in drafting. Drawing Pencil One of the most important tools in drawing. It comes in various grades. The grade of pencil to be used depends on the quality of paper to be used. Now, these are the different types of drawing pencils. We have hard pencils. It is used when extreme accuracy is required, especially working on graphs, diagrams, and charts. Next is we have medium pencils. It is used for general purpose work in drawing. And we also have the soft pencils. It is used in mechanical drafting. They are very useful for artwork of various kinds. Next tool is the square. It is a drawing instrument used when making horizontal lines. It is also used for guiding triangles when drawing vertical lines. Now we have three types of T-square, namely, fixed head. It is the head or the head is fastened for the blade. It is used for ordinary work. Next is we have movable head or adjustable head. It has one fixed and one adjustable head and used for only occasional drawing. And last, we have detachable head or removable head. It is designed for comfort when carrying the T-square. Next tool is eraser. It is used to clean the dirt off the drawing. A soft eraser is advantageous in removing smudges and pencil marks, whereas a harder eraser is useful for making changes and correcting errors in the drawing. Next is triangular scales. It is a tool generally used when reproducing a drawing in an enlarged or reduced form to some regular proportion. 
next is a racing shield. A useful tool to protect the rest of the drawing when clearing up smudges, unnecessary pencil lines, and other erasures. Next is we have drawing paper. A various types of drawing papers are available for use. But hard and soft surface drawing papers are highly recommended to be the best. Oslo paper is commonly used, but bond paper is also recommended. Next is French curve. It is used as a guide in mechanically drawing irregular curved lines. Next is drawing pens. Generally used for calligraphy, making lines, and more. Now we have three different types of speed ball pens, namely style A and B. It is used for square and round gothic letters. Next is we have style C. It is used for Roman and text letters. And lastly, we have style D. It is used for rounded Roman letters. Next is we have masking tape. A masking tape is used for fastening the drawing paper on the drawing table or drawing board. Next is we have pencil sharpener. It is used to sharpen the pencil whenever they show sign of dullness. Next is we have triangle. It is used to draw vertical and slanting line. Commonly used triangles area are 30 degrees by 60 degrees by 90 degrees. And we also have 45 degrees by 45 degrees by 90 degrees. Next is we have compass. A drawing instrument used when drawing arcs and circles. It is composed of one with the pen leg and the needle point leg being held together with a handle. Next is we have the divider. It is a drawing instrument used when transferring measurements, dividing lines and arcs into the desired number of equal parts. We also have protractor. It is used to determine graduations of the degrees when measuring arcs, angles, and circles. Next is we have drawing board or drawing table. The vertical edges of the board and table, which must be straight, are called working edges since the head of the T-square slides against them. Next is we have inks and paints. It is used to cover surfaces for decorative and protective purposes and for writing, printing, or drawing. Next is we have ruler. It is the most popular type of measuring tool. And we also have tape and tape ruler. A concave spring steel blade ranging from 1 fourth to 1 inch wide and 6 to about 300 feet in length, coiled inside a carrying case. Alright, so once again, here are some of the tools instrument and drawing materials in the drafting. We have drawing pencil, T-square, eraser, triangular skates, erasing shield, drawing paper, French curve, drawing pens, masking tape, pencil sharpener, triangle, compass, divider, protractor, drawing board or drawing paper inks and paints, ruler, and we also have tape and tape ruler. There you go, our dear junior draftsmen. We are now done in differentiating the simple tools, instruments, and drawing materials in the drafting. At this juncture, our dear junior draftsmen, 
Let's have a game. Direction. Choose the letter of the correct answer. You will be given five seconds to answer the following questions. Remember, if you want to be trusted, be honest. Now let's start. Question number one. A drafting tool used for drawing vertical lines. A. Compass B. Triangle C. T-square or D. Triangular scales Very good! The correct answer is B. Triangle Question number 2 It is an appropriate drawing paper that does not groove easily. A. Oslo paper B. Manila paper C. Pad paper or D. Crepe paper Good job! The correct answer is A. Oslo paper Question number 3 it is a type of T-square used for occasional work. A. Fixed B. Movable C. Removable or D. Attachable Alright! The correct answer is B. Movable Next question. This grafting tool is look alike a compass. A. Protractor B. Directional compass C. Divider or D. Scale Very good! The correct answer is C. Divider Next question This drafting tool is used in measuring longer length A. Compass B. Triangle C. Tape ruler or D. Ruler Good job! The correct answer is C. Tape Ruler Okay, Junior Draftsman, we learned today that tools, instruments, and drawing materials in drafting. At last, Junior Draftsman, were you able to learn everything? Just remember that in order to be a draftsman, one must be knowledgeable in drawing, and then must know the different drawing tools, instruments, and materials, the appearance, uses, and its proper manipulation. Again, this is Ma'am Jinki, your teacher who makes learning exciting. See you next time in our next lesson.